Hello everyone. Today we will discuss the principles and the application of chromatography. In that, what is meant by the chromatography? Chromatography it is a laboratory technique for the separation of the mixtures. Chromatography means the chroma that is the color and the graphene means to write the color bands. Color bands is the separation of individual compounds which is major or analyzed technique. Chromatographic terms. Chromatograph that is the equipment that enables a sophisticated separation. For examples, the gas chromatography or the liquid chromatography. Eluent. Fluid entering into the column or the solvent that carries the analyte is called as an eluent. Eluent. When the mobile phase is leaving the column, it's called as an eluent. The stationary phase. The stationary phase is also called, called as the immobilized phase. This immobilized on the support particles or on the inner wall of the column tubing. For example, the silica layer which is uh, used into the thin layer chromatography as a stationary phase. In mobile phase, the mobile phase moves in a definite directions and it is always into the liquid or gaseous forms. This mobile phase is moved through the chromatography column where the sample interacts with the stationary phase and is separated. Then retention time. The time takes for a particular analyte to pass through the system that is from the column inlet to the detector under a set conditions. Sample. The sample that is the substance analyzed into the chromatography sample is also called as an analyte then solvent any substance capable of solubilizing another substance is called as an solvent then chromatogram is visual output of the chromatograph the separation is the different peaks or the patterns on the chromatogram corresponding to the different components of the separated mixtures here you can see the chromatogram of the detection of the signal versus the time or the volume. Here is on the x axis there is a retention time and on y axis there is a signal. The signals which is the proportional to the concentration of the specific analyte separated. Here is a chromatogram. Chromatogram is the response of the detector versus the time which shows when various components come up in column. It will give the retention time that is denoted by the TR and the time at which the component elevates from a column. Theoretical plates. It assumes a chromatography peak has a Gaussian shape. Here is an height of the peak which is denoted by the H and the W half is with at half height. If the true Gaussian that is the W half is equals to 2.35 sigma, then sigma is the standard deviation. Then principles of the chromatography. Physical method of separation that distributes the components to separate between two phases moves in a definite directions. The substances are separated based on their differential distribution between the two phases. The substances will move with the mobile phase at a different rate, which is depending upon their partition or distribution coefficients. The factors affecting on the separation. First is the intermolecular interaction between the two phases. And second factor is the extent of dispersion of the solute molecules over the stationary phase. Classification of chromatography. There are the three main types. Techniques by the chromatographic bed shapes which includes column chromatography and planar chromatography. In that paper chromatography and thin layer chromatography. Second is the techniques by physical state of mobile phase which includes the gas chromatography and liquid chromatography. 
and third one is the affinity chromatography which includes the supercritical fluid chromatography first one techniques by chromatographic bed shape in that column chromatography in principle of the column chromatography is the solid materials used into the column chromatography it is called as adsorbents which have ability to hold the molecules at their surface it have the attractive forces that is the van der waals and hydrogen forces it has the functional groups like a hydroxyl or aromatic groups and the stationary phase used into the column chromatography is an silica stationary bed is within a tube and solvent is drawn through the column by applying the positive pressure this process is requires 20 minutes after 20 minutes they they will get the separated then in the modern flash chromatography what is me what is in the modern flash chromatography it is a prepacked plastic cartridge and the solvent is pumped through the cartridge this chromatography technique is a quicker separation and it has a less solvent uses then preparation of the column <laughs> diameter of the column is 5 mm to the 50 mm in height 5 cm to 1 m with a tap the filter used into the column is made up of the glass fluid or the glass wool plug the individual components are retained by the stationary phase which is differently and separated from each other while they are running in the different speeds through the column with the eluents during the entire chromatography process the eluent is collected in a series of fractions the composition of the eluent flow can be monitored and each fraction is analyzed for the dissolved compounds for example the uv absorption or fluorescence then the solvents used for the column chromatography are hydroxyl groups for example alcohol second is the carboxyl group for example acetone and non polar compounds have examples hexane heptane and toluene some advantages of advantages of the column chromatography there is a separation is depends upon the flow rate the pump or compressed gas used in column chromatography is an air nitrogen and argon gas is used the flow rate of the eluent is faster and it minimizes the time required to run a column in column chromatography which minimizes the diffusion and it also gives the better separation here you can measure the eluent obtained from this column and uh, you can measure the eluent by the chromatogram then paper chromatography in paper chromatography there is a one jar and paper strip is hang hanging by the pens hanging by the use pencil and at the bottom of the jar there is a presence of solvent the principle of the paper chromatography is this paper is made up of the cellulose or a polar substances and the compounds within the mixtures travel further if they are non polar more polar substances bonded with the cellulose paper more quickly and therefore do not travel as far polar which is attracted towards the polars and non polar which is attracted towards the non polar when whenever the non polars have no attraction to the polars that is the opposite repels here is an paper chromatography in paper chromatography there is an 
solvent front and at the bottom of the solvent paper strip is there you can see the different color of drops are seen using of these dots you can you can separate out the your substances by using the paper chromatography retention factor retention factor is nothing but the distance traveled by the solute to distance traveled by the solvent when retention factor is equals to the zero then solid remains in the stationary phase and thus it is an immobile and when the retention factor is equals to the one then solute has no affinity for the stationary phase and it travels with the solvent front next is the thin layer chromatography this thin layer chromatography is widely used into the laboratory techniques the stationary phase in thin layer chromatography that is called as adsorbent for example silica gel alumina cellulose this thin layer chromatography technique is widely used into the pharmaceutical and food stuff industry also some advantages of the thin layer chromatography are simple rapid and cheap then it is a faster runs and better separation there is a choice between different different adsorbents thin layer chromatography gives a better resolutions and it is allow for quantification it is used to identify the unknown compounds and to determine the purity of the mixtures this thin layer chromat thin layer chromatographic plate which is made up of the aluminum or the glass and which is coated by the stationary phase that is the silica coated material thickness is near about the 0.1 to 0.3 mm and the fluorescent indicator that will be make it fluorescent during the uv light exposure stationary phase in paper chromatography that is silica gel alumina or cellulose on a flat inert substrate is used and mobile phase is volatile organic solvents retention factor of paper chromatography is determined by the formula rf is equals to distance traveled by the solute divided by the distance traveled by the solvent when rf value is equals to 0 then the solute remains in the stationary phase and thus it is immobile and when the retention factor is equals to 1 solute has no affinity for the stationary phase and it travels with the solvent front next is the gas chromatography in gas chromatography the mobile phase is a gas and stationary phase is silicones in mobile phase the gas that is the helium is used and the carrier gas pressure is 4 kg per cm square stationary phase column which is typically packed or capillary in gas chromatography the stationary phase is other to inside of a small diameter glass tube or capillary column or a solid matrix inside a larger metal tube that is a packed column and partition coefficient of volatile analyte between a solid stationary phase that is the silicon and the mobile gas that is an helium applications of chromatographic techniques that is the chromatographic techniques is used into the quantitative and qualitative analysis of low polarity compounds then next application of this chromatography for analytical chemistry biochemistry petrochemicals environmental mo monitoring this chromatography techniques is also used to measure the picomoles of a substance in a 1 ml liquid sample or parts per billion concentration in gaseous samples it is also used to measuring the toxic substances in soil air or water thank you